In this video, we're going to be making a light theremin using the Arduino system. For this project, we'll be utilizing the photoresistor we used in previous projects. But this time, we'll be introducing the piezo to emit our sound. Now, you need to create a Tinkercad account in order to create this circuit. Click on Create New Circuit, and we'll drag over an Arduino board and a breadboard. Rotate as needed. And for this one, all we will need is a piezo. We will rotate that. Put a line four and a photoresistor. We will rotate that as well. We'll go to line 21. Next, we'll go to five volts, red, brown, or negative, black. We will connect ground to our piezo. And then our negative side is going to be going to pin eight. We'll change that to yellow. We're going to put a positive to our photoresistor. Change that to red. We'll be adding a resistor, 10,000K. Rotate that. That's going to go to negative, our ground. And this one's also going to be connecting to our analog A. Oh, leave that as green. That's pretty much it for the circuit. Let's go ahead and start the code. Click on code. I'm going to change that to text. I'm going to delete this text and this text. I'm going to go to line one. And we're going to be writing a couple of integers. Integer, sensor value, integer, sensor low, equals 1,023, semicolon, integer, sensor high, equals zero, constant, integer, LED pin, equals 13, That's it for our variables. Next, we'll do our void setup. Pin mode, LED pin, comma, output, make sure it's all capitals. Digital right, make sure that you capitalize the W. LED pin, I, and we're going to put a while loop. While millis, less than 5,000. Sensor value. equals analog read 
A0. If sensor value, sensor value is greater than sensor high, sensor high equals sensor value. I'm going to close the wavy bracket of our if statement. Another if statement, if sensor value is less than sensor low. Sensor low equals sensor value. Digital right LED pin low. So just so you don't get lost, there's a lot going on here. Uh, this one it closes void setup. This wavy bracket closes the while loop. And then this one is closing that if statement. So make sure that you have those all correct. Because if you don't for if you forget one, you're going to get errors. And then of course, between the end of our uh, closing of the while loop and of course closing the void setup, you need to have this digital right LED pin low. All right, so that's it for our void setup. Next, we're gonna do our main loop. And to do that, we'll do sensor value equals analog read A0. So it's getting that read from analog read. It's going to put it inside sensor value. We're going to introduce pitch, which is an integer. Int pitch equals, and we'll be using that map function that we learned in the last lesson. So map sensor value. That's where it's getting its read from. That's where it's getting its read from. And then our low input, so sensor low, sensor high, which is our input high, and then our output low, 50, and our output high is 4,000. Next line. We're going to use the tone function, tone, eight, pitch, 20. You don't need the spaces, but it just looks neater. And then we will delay. Ten milliseconds. And that's it. Let's go ahead and see what this does. 
Quick start simulation. See if we get any errors. Okay, so I'm getting an error because I forgot to put the parentheses right here. So don't forget that. Quick start. Looks like there's no more errors. There you have it. Based off of this, you will get specific sounds.